Controversial. And this is actually a question that I'm, I think we'll, we we will have to dis- to 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 break it down between the four of us because it covers a lot of aspect of it. And this is one of the main reasons. One of the main reasons why this World Cup is so famous. Why is hosting of the World Cup to Kota being controversial? Now, come on, comment side. We can start reading the comments of the people what it actually discuss about. Well, the, the, the controversy uh, surrounding, you know, this Qatar World Cup um, has been around. Uh, I mean, of course, there's uh, the aspect that Bandi already mentioned, that, that it's a small country and uh, it doesn't have a soccer culture. And I put that in quotes because Qataris have been playing soccer. Um, they do have a very huge soccer culture, though, and they actually yes. do have a very strong league. Exactly, and that's that's the reason why I'm saying a lot of these issues, you know, like are being fed to the public because there's an entitled group of uh, Europeans and South Americans are the ones who are used to hosting this World Cup. The Europeans in particular, you know, like were very tiffed at this thing going to, to Qatar. Uh, and that's the reason why a lot of Western media, you know, they're doing documentaries and they're doing all these... Uh, you know, like um, media pieces and articles showing why Qatar should never have hosted the World Cup. I mean, we know the other day that uh, Seb Blatter, you know, like after being involved in corruption for all those years, now finally says Qatar was a mistake. Uh, so there's there's a mixture of that. And then there's a migrant worker issue, uh, which you brought up. There were deaths that were involved and, um, and that has also been amplified a lot. Uh, there's an issue with the anti lgbtq laws you know and the fact that uh you know like uh qatar has laws that prohibit you know like um homosexuality so that that's being brought up as um also as a human rights uh, and sex outside marriage sorry go ahead yeah yeah Yeah. Yeah. and and of course you know the anti-fornication uh of course adultery is also in that here's the interesting thing here's the interesting thing the states that you live in if you just go and read the laws in the books of the states that you live in, they have laws against fornication and against adultery. But you'll never hear that being brought up with the World Cup coming to America. And this is where there's a lot of hypocrisy with this issue. And then, of course, there's an the issue of the country being small in size and not being able to accommodate all the guests. And Mika, of course, you've explained to us how things are going to happen. Uh, I know there are boats that are going there. Some people are going to be sleeping inside of boats. There are people who are going to be sleeping inside containers. So I think they've taken care of this. And then um, there's also the possible bribery issue. There's some people who are saying that Qatar bribed its way into being given the World Cup. But guess what? FIFA is a corrupt organization. Uh, We know uh, Germany snatched the World Cup from South Africa in 2006. The original World Cup that was supposed to go to South Africa was in 2006, but uh, Germany was able to snatch it. Uh, Russia did it. So these are things that other countries do. You know, like it's not like uh, it's something fresh that Qatar did. And then I'm also going to throw the spanner and say, (laughs) this is just racist. Uh, And and of course, this is also, it's an Arab country and, and it's a Muslim country. It will be an alcohol free not necessarily alcohol free but you know like alcohol is pro- is prohibited in qatar so i think with soccer being a global culture people need to appreciate that it's played in places where cultures are different think about even uh, the soccer culture back in kenya kenya is a very heavy drinking nation uh back in the day people never necessarily used to go with alcohol uh to city stadium or to Jano Stadium uh, to watch soccer games. This is this is something that's being adopted from European cultures. So a lot of these uh, people who are complaining are mostly European, uh, and they want to act like uh, this European culture is what is the global culture of the game. So they must accept that uh, we have uh, different people who play this game, and they come differently. And I only my only Mika, so, so, so you, you, you are a you are straight BTQ, you are a BTQ. LGBTQ. You are a BTQ. 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 You are a B
hata uh, uh, straight now atakuwa hamna mama <laughs> unamaanisha unamaanishaje bandio kusema boss achana na yani yani uh, mika <laughs> <laughs> uh...